Okay, hello and welcome to a quick video on how to time uh, the execution of PHP code. Um, the way we're going, the reason you might want to do this actually before I get onto the method is to say if you had a bit of code and it was um, you've just finished it and you want to check uh, like if you can improve the efficiency in any way. Um, what you could do is use this method to set up a little timer and output how long a certain block or a certain portion of the code takes to execute and then you can sort of narrow down where the biggest sort of slowdown is and then try and improve in that area obviously some things are just slow and they can't be improved much much but like image manipulation is generally just generally quite slow compared to just like a simple if statement you're not going to get because you know it does more it creates an image um, so the way we're going to do this is using the micro time function. And if I just do echo micro time to demonstrate, go to our browser. Oh, okay, go to the right folder. <laughs> uh, there we go. You see what we get is this output. So this is the number of seconds, and then this is the number of milliseconds. Thing reload. It's all, well, it's very precise time. Um, as you can see, it's sort of separate, which is not very useful. Um, and what you can do is just set the parameter here to true, and then PHP will combine these numbers and give you a very precise time. So then, what you can do is use this to sort of well to time the execution. Um, it is more precise than this. This is just how much PHP outputs. Basically, the rest are zeros. Think of it like that. Um, so yeah, what you can do is store the result of this in a variable. So let's call this start time equals, and then later on you can do echo micro time true minus start time start time start time, and this does have to be in brackets because of a reason I don't want to go into right now. Um, so what this will do now is basically time whichever whatever code is in here um, obviously it's, it's fairly sort of straightforward really because what you're doing is storing the start time and then down here you get the current time again and then take away the start time so the difference between the current time and the start time is the time elapsed so this is the difference between sort of the time at this point and the time at this point i.e. time elapsed executing this there is a slight problem because just doing this takes up some time. So, for example, if I load the page with just this comment there, you can see that it takes 8 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Um, so this is 0 0.5 zeros and an 8. Um, you can have this different as well by changing a setting in php.ini, but generally uh, this is such a small amount of time that it's you can ignore it, it's negligible. So say if we were to just do some simple maths in here, like, um, let's see, ver okay, not variable, it's a stupid name, maths, there you go, that's much more, be much more better, that's much better. Um, so maths equals, uh, let's say, 10 times 500, and that should be, well, slightly slower, you saw a bit of um, okay, well, to demonstrate, let's um, let's loop. Let's add a loop. Let's add a for loop. So, well, let's do for. Hey, typing for i equals zero, while i is less than loads. It's not that many, but whatever. Plus i. Define that variable, and let's also use the pow function on that to raise it to the power of a thousand, or a hundred, a hundred will do. And then let's generate a random number, just because we can. Actually, let's multiply by a random number, that'll be more fun. Whoops, let's not find anything. So let's do, actually let's, mm, that'll, that's probably not a good idea. Oh well, let's do random power of a random number between 100 and 2000. So that's, hopefully that'll take a bit longer. There you go, you can see that's clearly taken quite a lot longer. Um, because it's 0.0, .0 .0 now, not 0 0.00000. Is that too many zeros? Maybe. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can see that this this time here is basically how long 
this little block here takes to run. Um, a lot of people have problems with this issue, with this method for some reason, um, but just for it's, it's, it is quite accurate. Because, well, look, if I just keep reloading this, you can see what sort of you can get an idea of how much accuracy we get. It's at least accurate accurate to what three significant figures, hmm, maybe two. No, three. I, I'm happy with three. Um, so that's accurate up to here, basically, which is more than enough to work out where your slowdown is, if there is one. Um, 0 0.035 seconds, that is. Uh, it's pretty fine just for any kind of page, I suppose. Um, generally, my, my this, this server is just an old laptop that I have. It's got like one gig of memory and a single core processor. It hasn't, it hasn't, it's better than that. It's got two gig and a single a dual core something or other processor. Uh, but yeah, it's not not great. So this is kind of this would be I'd be happy with this for a page load. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this tip. Uh, if you find a page is a bit slow to load and suspect it might be PHP taking ages to do something, you can sort of throw this method about around your code. Um, so you could just move this line, have this at the end, move this line about, um, and work out where the slowdown is. So there you go. End tip.